A minister change. Brother Al at your service. Sin of the Saints, this podcast of truth, you is or you ain't, let's break down the facts, it's Minister Change, Minister Change. Blessings, 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 wonderful people with God, it's your boy, Minister Change, the minister that meet people with it and love on them like our Lord Jesus Christ does. I'd like to welcome my guest, Jay Hollins, to the Change of Life Testimonies from Sin of the Saints. What's going on, bro, bro? Tell me how you feeling tonight. Oh, I'm feeling blessed and highly favored, brother. Trust me. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> amen, 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 bro. We, we know God is good all the time, man. Even in the midst of times that we think he ain't there, he's still good because he's working it out for our good. Hey, man, we're going to start this uh, thing off, man, with you telling the people, where are you from? Where was you born and raised? Okay, uh, I'm, I'm rich. I'm uh... I re I'm originally from Houston. I live here in uh, um, San Antonio, San Antonio, Texas. Uh, but I just recently moved to San Antonio because God told me, me and my wife, to uh, pack up and, and move to San Antonio because he had plans and he wanted, a, he wanted to open up the windows for us. So uh, we was in Victoria for, uh, for a while, for over in that area because she's, she's originally from um, uh, Port Lavaca. Uh, Texas. Uh, so I met her down okay. there. That's how I met her. Uh, but I'm originally from Houston. But uh, we live now currently in San Antonio. Man. Okay. Okay. That's good, bro. Hey, hey, hey Jay. Hey, man. Do you have a favorite Bible scripture, man, that you like to go to, man, in time and ease? Or what just kind of inspire you, man, to move forward, bro? Man, I'm going to tell you, it's Romans. I don't know exactly which one. What is Romans? I think it's Romans 8 something. But um, it's uh, if God be for you, who can be against you? Man, that 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 man. pushes me. Man, that pushes. Me. <laughs> that lets me know God is man, for that's me. That's good, boy. That's good because <laughs> <laughs> that, that's Come good, on. bro. That's good. Hey, 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 brother Jay. Hey, if somebody was to ask you about your character, man, how would you describe yourself? I would describe myself as a humble person, uh, really grateful. Um, uh, you know, and, and very, uh, upfront and, and at a point of, you know, just, just my focus is basically is for help, help building the kingdom of God. So, you know, um, unity, okay. uh, things like that, you know, that's, that's where I really, uh, you know, far as you want to see a person, you know, is me being humbled. And, and 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 just being focused on the things of God all the time. <laughs> amen. Amen. That's good. Hey, brother Jay. Amen. Do, do, do you believe in prayer, man? Do you believe prayer oh, works? Yeah. Oh yes, it changes things, bro. <laughs> Come on, prayer changes things. <laughs> oh man, because I know, okay. I know, I've been oh, I've definitely, been man. I, I know my mom prayed for me. I know somebody was praying for me. Cause uh, I'm telling you, you know, the, the um, you know, from when God uh, brought me from, you know, I've been in church all my life, but I know somebody's praying for me, you know, mm -hmm. to get me, you know, to 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 yes. where I am, you know, because you know, it, it, I, I I truly believe that prayer is uh, uh, changes things. I truly believe that, brother. Yeah, yeah, most definitely, bro. Yeah, most definitely. We got to remember, boy, them intercessory prayers, man, that our grandmamas, our mamas, and everybody pray. And they still <laughs> active right now in this realm, bro. Hey, yes, Brother sir. Jay, <laughs> this oh. is the testimony moment, bro. This is when uh -huh. you tell your story about something you have survived and you have been through it. And now you can tell them that, hey, no matter what happened, got to have faith because this too shall come to pass. This is your yes, flow, sir. brother, to tell your testimony. Yes, sir. So I say about uh, four years ago, um, I had a heart attack and it was a hundred percent blockage and, uh, God in the midst of what I was going through and, 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 and there was no pain. And, and I'm going to just, I'm gonna be honest with, I didn't even know I was having a heart attack at that. The end, but when, when I realized mm. things were going right, you know, then I, um, but I knew God was covering me, whatever I was dealing with, I, he covered me. And then, um, um, 
so uh, after 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 I had uh, the heart attack, he he had spoke to me, said he had purpose. He said, "I have purpose for you," and then um, that that's what got me going towards the doing the mu- the music, the the ministry and music, because God wanted me to start doing the music in in a uh, a different way than that's usually traditional. Um, the traditional way usually is, you know, the, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, you know, but, uh, God, uh, t- spoke to me and told me to start doing it with his word in, 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 in every song with his word to encourage people with his word, with the R and B and hip hop feel. And that's what God told me to do. So I've been doing that. And in the beginning, brother, I'm going to tell you sometimes, you know, you know, you, you don't, you're doing what you're doing. And sometimes we don't understand it's not for us. It's for somebody else. It's not just, you know, for what we're doing. So I, you know, yeah. I just kept my kept my head up and, and, and just kept pushing, being obedient to what God called me to do. Because, you know, the enemy was going to come in your ear, tell you what you're doing, what you're doing. You see these people, they ain't, they ain't even moving to your music. They ain't doing that. They keep telling me all this. But God, but God will tell you, you be obedient to him. You say, be faithful in the few things, and I'll make you ruler over many. So you have to be faithful. You have to be faithful because God is faithful. Amen. And so I just want to, you know, um, yeah. just keep, you know, through this testimony that, that God has placed in my and placed in me is that, you know, um, it's, it's a blessing to be able to have another life, to be able to, to be in a position to do what God called you to do. Because, um, like I said, um, it was four years, four years ago. And my, uh, my, I mean, my, they, they said they had no scar. I didn't have any scarring or anything. I didn't have any scarring. This is all the glory to God because God told me he had purpose. And then, then, uh, four, four, four weeks later, we find out we're pregnant. And so God blessed us with a, with a, with a child, I have mm. a four-year-old. Mm. I mean, God has blessed him, and 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 he's like every image of me. It's like it, it, to to his to yeah. his attitude and to his uh his demeanor, everything. It's like God, you know. <laughs> you know, I remember the things when I used to do <laughs> when I was a kid, and and he does everything that I, I I've done when I was a kid, and it's like he's just a reincarnation of me or something. I don't know, but you know, I just like. You know, I thank God for that. I thank God for being able to be able to to stand up and do. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, you good, bro? Oh, okay. So you know, I just, so, I just, I just, I just really try to 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 lean on the uh, things of God in in, in my in my uh, through 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 the testimony because that reminds me to stay humble every day. Every day, I was as I look back on the things because God mm. has restored my health. My health is like I'm like I'm like I feel like I'm 21 years old and I'm 54. <laughs> and I tell Man. you, it, it, it's, it's like good, it's, bro. it's like a it's like God is God has just rejuvenated me from uh from from the health because you know I changed the way I eat, I changed everything, and I owe it all to God because it's. Is because of his teachings and and his, uh, his the Holy Spirit teaching us, you know, um, what what we should do and what we should not do, and then you know it's just that just a whole bunch. It's just a, just in a nutshell. That's a, that's because a, I can go on and on because God is so good, bro. I'm telling you, <laughs> He is so good. I can just go on and on. So I got man, do it, do it. Go ahead. <laughs> Amen, bro. So, so, so during that, when you had that heart attack, man, were you scared that you was going to die, man? Did death ever cross your mind? No, the death didn't ever cross my mind because in the midst of when I was, uh, all of a sudden, I just uh, I just had this short of breath. Um, like, you know, every time I moved, I, I, I was short of breath. Um, I was like, um, I tried to lay down. It was just, um, you know, I just couldn't get comfortable. And then I just I just told my wife I said, babe, you know, you, you might call nine one one because something's not right. Because I because I, I, I usually like if something's mm-hmm. wrong, you know, shake it off, try to shake it off and move on. I couldn't do it. And then it was like something's not right. But I was praying at the and in that moment, 
in that moment, that's when I started praying because I knew something wasn't right. I just started praying. And when, like you said, do, do I believe in prayer? Yes, sir. Because <laughs> I was praying to God. And I was like, God, if it's your will, let your will be done, Father. Don't, don't, don't. Don't let anything happen. If it's, if it's your will, if it's your will, it's your will. I'm, I'm gone. But I never thought about death. I never, it never crossed my mind. Just say if you would have, if you would have passed on, do you think you would have went to heaven? At that time? Yeah, I think I, 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 I would have been there. I would have been to heaven. Yeah. I, I'm thinking about it. Yes. Cause I, I was, I was really, um, Really doing the things for God, I was I was being obedient to the things that He had me appointed me to do at that time, and then um, you know it was just you know I never I, I feel like I would make it to heaven on that on that note I would think I would at that moment yes okay man that's good that's good at that moment yes okay bro that's good that's good hey bro do, do you think that um Bad company, man, corrupts good people. You gotta be careful who you hang around with, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I definitely, I definitely do. Uh, that's why you know it's important that you know we as Christians and and believers that we should we should be the examples. We should be the one that are, are the trendsetters. We should be the one that that are uh, uh, make uh, being influencing the people. We we should be the ones, but. Uh, but being around, you know, negative people, I wasn't allowed. <laughs> uh, my mom was very strict, so I wasn't allowed <laughs> to do to do to do too much. Um, but when I did, mm -hmm. you know, you know, it was it was like, hey, you know, you know, I guess the what was in me, it was like, okay, you know, I don't supposed to be doing this, so I'm not going to even do this. I'm gonna get out of here, you know. Uh, and and there's been times when I've been around. Uh, when I was growing up like kids and stuff and I've been in the wrong place at the wrong time and then you know I got a, I, I got accused of some things that I wasn't doing but just because I was with them I got accused about it so you know that's uh that was that 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 yeah. was something that taught me to be aware of of you know my surroundings or, or who I'm being you know my, you know the type of people I'll be around so yes yeah I believe that you know yeah I believe that, yes. Bad company does corrupt good people. Hey, man, and, and, and in life, man, you know, a lot of us go through life, man, we make a, a, a few mistakes, and sometimes, man, we want to blame other people, man, but how important is accountability, man? How, how important do you feel accountability is? Accountability is very important because, you know, even in, even in ministry, <laughs> um, we have to be accountable. You have to be accountable for the things that you do and the things that you say because you are standing before God's people and, and God is holding you accountable for what you say and what you do and how you live and how you perceive what people perceive you because you could you could damage someone. You could hurt someone by being misleading them to uh, thinking that it's OK to live a double life that you can't that you have to live. You can't live um uh, a, a saved life or a life of 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 of, of, of being set apart and um so um you know that can confuse people so we have to be very careful because god does have give us accountability when you've been a minister and a minister in music music anything anything that you're standing before god's people you should be a, uh should be accountable yes i mean that's good bro and you know, as as we go on through life, man, there's there's people that we didn't have encounters with, man. They, they didn't done, done some stuff to us, man. And even though we walked away, sometimes we still hold that in our hearts, man. How important is forgiveness, man, to forgive people, man? How important do you think that is? Forgiveness is the most important thing because forgiveness is not just for you forgiving somebody; it's it's for them and and also for you. Because, you know, um, God, God said, you know, that we have to forgive even if, even our enemies, even somebody who did something to you, you should still forgive them. And then you should just, you know, let it go and because let God, because when, when I say that, that's that means, you know, um, the battle is not mine. 
it belongs to the Lord. So, you know, we battle not against flesh and blood, but uh, prin principalities in high places. So we got to understand yeah. that, you know, somebody do something to us. It's not, it's not that individual. It's a spirit that's doing it to you. So we have to understand that and we yeah. have to uh, uh, learn to how to forgive that person because we should uh, have some form, some form of compassion to understand why they're doing the reason why they're doing it. And, 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 you know, sometimes, and I don't mean to get off the, the, the thing, but you know, something that I remember a while, a while back is that, you know, people tell you who they are. If you listen to their conversation, they'll yes. tell you who they are. So you know who they, what to expect yes. from them. Stop putting them up on a higher, a higher mm -hmm. level and, and high, high standards. Because if a person lies to you, you know, Hey, that person lies. Hey, this person, if this yeah. person, leaves, you know what to expect. So you don't get your feelings hurt. You don't get yourself into it. You just be like, okay, I know what this person going to give me when I ask, when I, when I'm dealing with them, you see what I'm saying? So that's how we should look yeah. at it. And yeah, then also, uh, also, you know, you just, just forgive them, you know, because God forgiven us. Look at how many times I, I, I could have messed up, messed up. He, he's forgiven me. So, you know, you have to have that same yeah. compassion, that same love for everyone. Yes. Amen. Amen, Amen. bro. Yeah, that, that's good, brother. That's good, brother. Hey, um, brother Jay Hollins, man, if you could look yes. back, man, and talk to your 21-year-old self, man, what would you tell your 21-year-old self, bro? <laughs> uh, not to get married. <laughs> <laughs> so soon. Oh, man. man. No, so no. soon. Yeah, not so soon. I should have, I should have, you know, my first marriage, um, I was, I was married for 13 years before my first marriage. Um, but, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I just, I just, I didn't know myself. You know, I thought I did. I thought I was, I was living for God, you know, mm -hmm. just going to church, doing everything. But it was just, you know, I still wasn't, I still didn't find myself, you know, and it was some things that I needed to get myself together and then you know, it was just it was just too it was just too early for me. I, I should have experienced some things before I I, I did what mm -hmm. I you know what I when I just jumped into a marriage and um, and then 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 I turned around and had eight kids along with that you know so but Man. it's not a, I don't regret that but it's just that God bless you you know blesses you with this with the uh, with because children are blessings. So that's how I look yes, at you. So, um, I, you know, it's just God gave me uh, eight kids with her. And um, so, you know, I just wish I just, you know, would have slowed the road because it was like a dream. I'm, I'm telling you because it was just kid mm -hmm. after kid after kid. And then things I didn't even really live live my, my, my life because I never ex yeah. really experienced anything until later. And then, you know, God started uh, – um, and that's that's what got me, you know, away from the home because I started clubbing at at 33 years old. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. like, well, yeah. yeah, I was like, yeah. you know, uh, yeah, I'm like, I'm 33 years old. I'm running a club. Well, I must have been already done that, you know, in yeah. my 20s. I never did yeah. that. So, you know, uh, that was, um, yeah. you know, and I thank God, but I, I thank God for all the lessons that I did learn, and, and and it taught me how to be a better person and build my character. And and show me how how to treat people and how to treat my new wife. Hey Amen. That's good, bro. Yeah. It's all about growth. I mean, when we learn from our lesson, we learn from things, man. We keep on moving. Hey, bro, what about all this, man? Violence going on in the street, man. The black on black crime and the crime itself. What can we do, or what do you think that we could do as men to try to curb some of this violence? Well. As men, I, I I think we should we should step up more because God holds us more accountable than 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 uh, than any than any other, than any other because um, like um, I, I I I tell my wife all the time we talk about how Adam and Eve um, was in the garden and and um, mm -hmm. and that um, she uh, that nothing happened until. Adam took a bite of the uh, apple. Nothing happened until he did. 
because he gave up his gave up the, the authority that God gave us. So um, we just need to take back the authority that God has given us, and 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 just be in be as as men. If you if you have children, if you have if you have uh, men children, teach them how to love. Don't I mean it's okay to be hard. It's okay to be tough sometimes in certain situations. You have to be tough, but sometimes you have to just 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 let that that um, not sensitivity. I I want to say like you know just that that love of God shine through you. You know what I'm saying? Because we we supposed to we supposed to be teaching yeah. our children our children. We supposed to be teaching them how to be and how not to be. You know what I'm saying from from our experiences, not allowing you know trying to be their friend yeah. or. Uh, and things like that, we can't do that. We we have to be we have to be the example. We have to uh, show them, hey, you know, this is this is uh, this is what we this is how you should be. You should be a this is how a man should be operate. He's the, he shouldn't be working in his feelings all the time. He should be he should be yeah. able to yeah. control his emotions. He should be able to be able yeah. to control himself in a situation because you know and 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 you know the violence. You know, violence doesn't answer the, your, your 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 situation. It doesn't answer the the problem. It just it compounds the problem because then you hurt somebody, you yeah. in trouble more. So you, it just doesn't make sense to, yeah. to be you know, uh, eye for an eye, tooth for tooth. You know, you know that's not you know the way we should be um, operating. We should learn how to forgive. If we learn how to forgive more, then we wouldn't be in the situations where it'd be so much violence. Because if we, you know, uh, true, uh, true, are, true. are trying to trying to um, uh, take over my my situation, or being prideful, prideful, pride is one of the biggest things, you know, that that hurts um, a man is is the pride because pride the pride comes before fall. But at the same time, you know, that's what a lot of men yes. we have is um, is pride. We need to we need to calm calm yes. that pride yes. down, and we wouldn't be so easy mm -hmm. to be provoked. So easy to to, to want to uh, take off somebody or or, or or do any any kind of violence. That's that's even even with with the women. Even even when you uh, shouldn't hit a woman. I I I truly believe that we shouldn't hit a woman ever. I don't care what situation in because it if we yeah. hit a one, we can we can we can hurt her. I mean we're, we're that strong. Now you got some women that's pretty strong, but you know she has to be like you know uh, pretty strong. But most men are stronger than women, so we we gotta understand. We gotta we gotta we we just gotta learn to be wise. Hey, hey, bro. Um, have you ever had to deal with a, a loss of a loved one, man? Oh, brother. Yeah, I had to um, many times. My mom, uh, matter of fact, both of my parents are gone. My my mom and dad. They're they they're, mm. they're deceased. Uh, my mom had cancer. Um, my dad, uh, he he had diabetes, but he he had um, he died from that. his liver or something. Uh, he passed away from that. Um, um, throughout my childhood, I remember my aunts and my uncles. You know, they they when they passed away, and they passed away young, and that 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 was one of the things that kept me from make, the making the decisions in my life to stay away from drugs and stay away from certain things in my life because, you know, they were they were really in, into drugs deeply. And, you know, it was many times that, you know, that that God was, you know, making a way for me and, and protecting me uh, in situations. Um, it was a time where my aunt, she was, she was, she, we went to one of her friend's house and, um, after we we was on our way home, she passed out, and we was going on the freeway. Mm. We was going on the freeway, and she passed out. And I had to pull. We pulled the car over, let it roll to the shoulder, and we pulled the car over. My sister was sitting in the front, and I was in the back. We, uh, my sister, I was steering it. My sister pushed the brake. We pushed my aunt over. I I got in the car. I was what thirteen years old. Got in the car and drove home. And no cops stopped me, anything, and I drove straight home. And that was by the grace of God. God covered me in that situation because I, 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 you know, all I know, remember how to get home. That was it.
Man. Man. So do you think, man, <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about generational curses, man? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, generational curses, <laughs> um, I believe that they exist. Um, and I thank God because as the Holy Spirit, as the Holy Spirit comes upon you and start teaching you things and start revealing things to you, he start. Uh, it was some things that God revealed to me because I, I, I'm a true believer of, of renouncing covenants also that we made that we don't even know that we made. You know, even from our, our parents, mm -hmm. our parents doing things. You know, they don't understand because you know a lot of stuff that we deal with nowadays is 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 um is because of things that you know we don't you know because of somebody else is doing. You know, their parents didn't understand what they was doing. They were just doing stuff, you know, and, and you and that's what the that's the dangers of not being close to God and and, and uh understanding the things of God. And um so um yes, uh I, I do believe in uh generational curses and I thank God that mine's and I am the one that broke it. <laughs> so I just wanna thank God for that because Amen. You know, you know, cause, um, you know, um, yeah, it exists. It exists that, you know, and a lot of people don't understand that. Hey man, that's good, bro. Hey man, how many people you think that we see every day, man, is walking around with hidden scars and the scars <laughs> is destroying them, but they don't, like you said, that pride. They haven't yeah. built up enough courage to talk to somebody so they can move on. How many people you think, man? One out of ten. One out of ten. I want to say, I, I, I want to say probably ten. I want to say ten because there's a lot of people that <laughs> I, it's a lot of people that don't even know why they 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 act the way they act and don't understand why they. They say, well, you know, uh, something triggered me, you know, something this and this and this, you know. And, and the funniest thing about speaking on that, the funniest thing, the only thing, I don't remember a lot of stuff that was in my childhood. When, as when I was a kid, I only remember certain, cert, certain things, but I don't remember everything. And certain, it's like certain mm -hmm. things, I don't even remember like a few things, not even, I can put probably name of five things on my hand that I can remember as growing up as a kid because it was some it was some kind of trauma some kind of um, some kind of um, something happened that I was in a situation that uh, my mind and everything you know went don't remember yeah, blacked out you went went into, yeah. went, went into safety mode like the computer boom yeah. you're going to safety mode yeah 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 most definitely. And then that's what we do, man. That's the, that's the way that the body, the mind, and everything work. That's a good deal. But like you said, sometimes we never had to deal with it. Bro, I don't know if you ever lived the street life, if you was ever on the street. But have you ever been in a predicted, man, where you either thought you might have to take somebody's life or somebody was going to have to take your life? I'm being honest. No, brother. I have never been in that situation. I, I never, like I said, I've been in church all my life. Um, but you know, I never been in this situation that I felt like I had to, uh, take someone life or someone, to, uh, almost take mine. Um, but I could say, I can say, uh, I don't want to name a, a certain person, but I had to get out of a, a relationship because of that, because, um, and, and as I think about okay. it, you know, the relationship it could have it could have went that route if I if I wouldn't have, if I wouldn't have backed out the relationship okay. years later it could have got to that point because it was it was it was points where I was I was stabbed before you know I was stabbed mm. because, you know because of the situation that was going on in in in, in the relationship um, you know uh, by 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 that person. And then to turn around, uh, another another instance happened 
was was uh, was hit with, with two by fours, you know, things like that makes you like, okay, you know what, uh, I need to get out this situation because you know either that person is gonna get hurt or me yeah. gonna get. Hurt. So you know, I I just thought about that, yeah. and I just you know something that that happened years and years ago that um you know that was the reason why yeah. I got after. Okay, that's good, bro. Hey, man, now, after, after turning your life over to the Lord Jesus Christ, man, what is the best thing about serving our Lord Jesus Christ, bro? Man, the best thing is, to me, <laughs> is when, someone, when somebody gets baptized and gets saved, bro. That's <laughs> like the best thing that ever happens to me. Dude, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's that's that. But that's 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 a good thing, man. That's a good thing. I see you got the yeah. little one. What's up, little man? <laughs> that's good, man. So, hey, what's up, little man? What's your name? Kaden. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, man, and now, Kaden, what's up, Mister? What's going on, man? Now, how does it feel being a father? And what are you going to do? What What are some of the things? That now that you're gonna do different, or just being a father, man. What what is some of the joy you get out of being a father, bro? The joy I get out of being a father is that you know watching him grow and be be to be able to be what God called him to be. You know that's that's like the one is joy, Amen. the joy thing that I, I it, it 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 helps me to keep him, you know keep you know me being example to him showing him how hey you you can pray you know you can you can do this you can do that showing him because he uh believe it or not he's he's only four years old and uh he he he's <laughs> you probably see him a bunch of times in the uh in the videos that i'm, I'm doing or music that i'm doing he's he's already mm -hmm. starting to mimic everything i mean he's 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 up and every time I go on, on uh, if I go on, um, to minister, he's he's there. He's like he's right next to me, trying to minister with me. You know, he's he's there, and it's like it's a, it's amazing that it's like God. I see, I understand now. I understand the whole purpose is to to raise him up, to show him to be a man of God. Right. As and, and and so he he'll he'll be he'll become greater than 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 whatever God has had planned for me. He'll be greater than that, and and that he'll be able to handle those mm -hmm. situations and be able to be strong in God, because at the end of the day, all this stuff that we do on a day to day basics ba basis, we we do every day, go to work, do all these things. All those things doesn't even really matter, bro. It, it really matters what we do for God. That's what matters, and people don't understand that. And it's it's it it. it, it God didn't give me that realization until recently that, you know, you know, chasing money and chasing all these things, doing all these things. I don't, I don't need to chase that. God is, God is giving God, man, I'm telling you, God has elevated everything that, I, that I ever done. God, God is elevated because I stayed humble in it. I stayed humble to the fact that, you know, I'm not, man. I'm not greater than anyone. I'm not greater than anything. I'm going to stay humble. I just know that I want to please God. And I just want to be able to, to uh, focus and do the things that he, he has called me to do. And, 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 and grab hold to that plow and don't look back. Just keep pushing. And then, you know, people, you know, it's easy said and done. But I tell you that, you know, I trust God in everything I do because when he told me to move, yes. <laughs> that's the funny because when he told us to move from Victoria to San Antonio, we packed up everything and just moved. And then it was just like, you know, and then the, mm, the top it off. Yeah. And the top it off, God, God was using the children. <laughs> it, it was, it was, it was, it was so funny because, you know, God was using the children to, um, to, um, to, to direct it because my, my daughter she don't even like you know want to go nowhere she don't want to go nowhere she's like she's like so dad when we gonna move we're gonna move to san antonio i said okay and then my son he go, 
we moving when we moving to San Antonio. I was like, we haven't even moved yet. It was like it was like months and months before we moved. And then, you know, I talked to the wife and she was like, wanna move, let's move. And God already told us to move. So, you know, it was like, let's go. So we packed up. I mean, you know, it's it's a lot more stories, more stuff to, to it because you know, God humbled us mm -hmm. in the in situation too because we had lost everything. And but God humbled us in it, and in the midst of mm. what we were going, in the midst of what we were going through, He wanted us to minister to other people, and that's that's where we were staying. I'm gonna tell you, we were staying at hotels, and God turned to the uh, was having us minister to the lost that was in the hotels, in the mm. hotels. Look at God, and I was bro. like, yeah, Look at God. I'm like, I'm like, I understand now. No matter what, God can change your situation like that. But you gotta, you gotta be obedient to Him. Be obedient to Him and trust yeah. Him. He just want to see if you can trust Him. And if you trust Him, trust me, He gonna turn that thing. Because to this, to this, this day right now, I thank God for the church that I go go to, uh, Born Again Ministries. I, I I thank God for them because my pastor, Rick uh, Zantucci. He, I mean, it's like God sent us to this place to to grow and to to be to be um, covered. You know what I'm saying? Because we were going through some things. We were Man, going through a lot of things. Good, but bro. I thank God. I thank God for that. Because without Him, man, I'm telling you, I say it all the time. I'm nothing. And I believe I believe that God is able to do all things if we just trust Him and lean on Him. Man, amen, amen. That's the truth, bro. That's the truth, but without God, mm, we ain't nothing, man. Yeah. Hey, brother, um, hey, brother Jay Hollis, man, what's the positive word of encouragement, man, that you can give to anybody, man, that's just been down and out, man, don't know what to do. They going right now, they want to give up, man. They're going through some situations. What's a positive word of encouragement, man? You could give to them, man, to let them know that everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> I tell you one thing that you know, if he did it for me, I know he can do it for you. So if if, if he if he did it for me, that that he turned my situation around, and that you know that after we lost everything, lost car, everything, everything, home, everything, we live in the hotels. If God can turn our situation around I know he can turn yours around but you have to trust him you have to trust and lean on his word what he said what he what he says in his word believe me if it, if he lies heaven and earth will pass away if you just trust him and believe and lean on him no matter what you what whatever situation because there's no problem too big for him no problem you, if you're facing a cancer, uh, uh, cancer, if you're facing anything, God can turn that situation around. You can be having a heart attack. God can turn that situation around for your good. But you got to trust him. You got to lean on him. No matter what you're facing. He's the answer. Amen. Amen. Hey man, hey man, hey man, brother, that's good. Hey brother, uh, Jay Hollins, man. Hey man, we're gonna talk a little bit about man your, your music and stuff, man. Tell the people how they get in contact with you, man, for the, for the music. Tell them a little bit about you, man. Your your, your ministry and music and what you do. Give them some contact if they want to get in contact with you. Okay, um, it's um, uh, you can you can get the music on Spotify, Apple Music, um. Uh, all the ma major platforms you can get it on. Um, it is under J Hollins, J Space Hollins, H O L L I N S. Um, also on on Facebook, uh, I'm, I'm, they got me as J Hollins because they only allow you to have. Uh, they don't let you have one letter. You have to have two or more letters. So that's why there's an A there. So, okay. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> uh, but. Every, everywhere else, all the other platforms, YouTube, uh, you can look up uh, Christ Driven Music, uh, Music with the K. Um, 
Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's so many avenues. I uh, also have a, uh, a Christian T-shirt uh, brand also. It's called uh, Christ Driven Apparel, uh, where I do T-shirts. And there's one of them right here, you know. But, you know, I'm just, oh, you know, nice. I, I just want to – I, I, I focus on the things of God and you have to keep that in mind that you know, he said, he said, he said, if you acknowledge me in all your ways, I would direct your path. So I just trust God and I just, I, 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 I acknowledge him in everything that I do. And, and I don't, and I mean, everything I do, I mean, you have to, because God has brought me a long way and, and he, yeah. he's, he's spared my life. He's, He's given me strength. He's given me. He renewed my strength. He's given me new newness, and 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 I and I'm so grateful. And and, and I want to I want to be that that light that someone can be encouraged to 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 push for the things of God and keep doing the things of God because we got brothers and sisters that's out there that's doing things for God, but they 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 get weary and and they well doing, and then they they give up and they stop. I have brothers. And sister, that that just stop doing music, and I'm like, God is giving you a talent. That's a that's a kingdom talent. That's a that's a talent for the kingdom. You have to build. We building the kingdom of God, and we got to keep that in mind. We we doing these things for the kingdom of God to to bring bring about His 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 kingdom and and being unified and and continue to push for the things of His. Not 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 self gain. Or anything, it's all about him. And if you do that, trust me, he will he will pour out his spirit. His spirit will reign with you if you just acknowledge him. Man, amen. Hey brother, that's good. That's good. Hey man, this, this has been a wonderful interview, man. Hey brother, I really appreciate you, man. Uh and, and this this interview, man, is, is really touching, man, because our testimonies will save people's lives. Because we yes. when we go through some stuff in life, we think we're the only people going through it. But we don't understand that there's one that one person out there just waiting for somebody to say, man, look, I've been through it, too. We can make it through. it." Hey, bro, Jay, I'm going to have you uh, go ahead and pray us out, man, if you don't mind. All right. Father God, we thank you right now in the mighty name of Yeshua. Father God, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise, Father God. For we can't do a thing without you, Father God. Father God, we just want to thank you right now, Father God, looking down on every person that comes in touch with this this broadcast, Father God. Father God, we ask you right now in the name of Yahshua, Father God, give them a touch, Father God. Give them an encounter with you, Father God, that they, that you may get the glory and honor, Father God. Father God, that they acknowledge you in all their ways and understand that you're the way and the truth in the life. Father God, we just want to thank you and praise you and glorify you, Father God. And Father God, we just thank you for our strength and our health. And, and Father God, we ask for wisdom, Father God, as we walk every day in your will, Father God. And we thank you for it right now. In your son Yahshua's name, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. Man. Hey, brother, I just want to tell you, man, thanks, man. Blessings, bro. I'm going to be hugging you in prayers, bro. Put a praise on it, put a praise on it Because God's got your blessing with your name on it Put a praise on it, put a praise on it Because God's got your blessing with your name on it No worry, no worries, don't worry, don't worry God's got your blessing with your name on it Don't worry, don't worry, no worry, no worry God's got your blessing with your name on it Hold up, when the praises go up Blessings come down everywhere I go. I testify about his goodness. I just want to think about the ways that he changed my life. I don't want to look back to that old life. I'm a new man. My God is manifesting. No matter what I'm facing, my God gonna chase it away. He's interceding in my behalf. Now the enemy's confused because you're giving God all the praise. Have faith. God is the band aid. When you fall down, you can get back up again. Repent, repent from all your sin. God will rebuke the enemy for your name's sake. Put a praise on it.
put a praise on it because God's got your blessing with your name on it. Put your praise on it, put a praise on it because God's got your blessing with your name on it. No worry, no worries, don't worry, don't worry. God's got your blessing with your name on it. Don't worry, don't worry, no worry, no worry. God's got your blessing with your name on it. God's got your blessing, He is always on time when it comes to some. Testimony. God gave you a testimony. Speak it right now. Call Minister Chang. 260-203-6655. You want to share what God did for you. Call it right now. Minister Chang. 260-203-6655.